Hey guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> welcome to this video. Thank you for clicking on this video if you're new to the channel. Welcome. This is Matt. Blair. <laughs> we yeah. live in our RV and today we're going to do a full home tour for you guys. So we've been living in our RV for about four months now. Yep. So it's nice and lived in. So we're going to show you guys where we yeah, put... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> where we put everything. You done? So a closet. You'll see. You'll see. Where should we start? Outside. Let's go outside. Ready? Okay. And real quick, probably noticed that he is on crutches. Uh, he's got a broken leg, so being in a trailer with a broken leg is quite interesting. It's not too bad. So this is part of our storage right here. What we have is mostly the outdoor equipment right here. Really big into climbing. Really big into climbing. As you can see, it would broke my leg. But what we're gonna get back into is rope climbing. We actually have that right here. But then we really get into uh, kind of like the, the bulk of our storage right here and necessary equipment that we have. Yeah. You can get to it from the inside. So this is our easy access stuff. You know, when we get to a campsite. Easy access. Yeah, pretty easy access. Need those binoculars this all the is, time. This is kind of like the, the quick storage, you know, campfire. Yeah, um, make a lot of fires. Pins, walkie talkies that, that we don't, don't work. Use. Okay, so this isn't that important. This is kind of the extra stuff. <laughs> Um, Quick I put this here to see a swan from a distance. It's like, there you go, got some binoculars going and you got a chair. You're good for days. So we actually don't use the awning too much because of the weather being so unpredictable here in Texas. So you guys are seeing, this is a big day here yeah. with the awning out. So this is probably the most important area for us whenever we're actually about to take a trip. Like our, uh, our hitch, we have stabilizer bars, I mean it's weight control, pretty much everything that you need um, to actually move the rig. Right over here is our last little outside storage. This here is our guest bedroom. <laughs> so this is a sleeping pretty bag, nice. and then back here, which goes, I can easily point to it, it's all the way back here. And this is our uh, tent, so it really is our, uh, our guest storage. We just kind of pull that out, set it up with like our hoses and stuff like that in case the water source is a little further. <laughs> now we're going to show you guys the inside. <laughs> As you walk in here, you've got the husband. We have two dogs. There's a whole backstory behind that, so make sure and go check out why he's the only dog in the RV right now. So we've got our couch. This is our lounge area. <laughs> oh, don't hurt yourself. We each have our own little nooks. Have little drawers right here. I've got my closet. So we got all of my clothes in here. It's in here. What? You have both closets? But wait, there's more. <laughs> Three? This closet. This drawer. It's like underwear and stuff. Get out of there. Ta-da! Or the storage few, under the bed. There's a few other things first. This is our storage. <laughs> so our storage is real simple. It's just you open this up, this actually comes off and it can be removed. You can slide things in if you need to. I mean, it's just very generic stuff. Like we have two lunch boxes, yeah, tennis bag, some workout equipment. Uh, right now we switched and there's a guitar here. Uh, we just kind of cleared all this out. Like music, just so y'all know. This shouldn't be here. Actually. Yeah, it fell behind. It fell behind. So usually uh, we get this out whenever we get the bed out. And here's my cast because I'm broken. And then uh, some pet stuff. And so uh, we actually have some extra storage right now. So who knows what we'll fill it with. Great, let's yeah. fold down the bed. And then we've got a sweet Murphy bed. I think this is one of my favorite parts about the RV. We had some people say that that's, it gets tedious to put it down and up all the time, but I like it. Two minutes, Yeah, honestly. it's it's really Even not hard. Even with a broken leg, I can do it. Let me show them. The really cool thing about this RV is you get two bedrooms. So if you have guests over and you want some privacy, look at it. Don't even know I'm here. I can still sense you. Let's just went to the gym earlier. <laughs> And yes, people can stay here it's because we're gonna go to our dining room next. You oh. will have to move, Buzz Buzz. This area we don't really use for eating much. Not right now because of Matt's leg. This is like my little workstation. So I'll sit here, got my work stuff, and I work from home. So if we were to have, if we had friends and we had somebody over. We do have friends, Blair. Watch out, Buzz Buzz. You like real close. You're doing good. A little fold out bed here. Are you flexing right now? Nervous little click I am? <laughs> <laughs> we 
we've been watching Game of Thrones. We just lay this out and then we both fall asleep here. But, okay, tell them. Tell them about our sound bar. Trailers don't always come with the best equipment. We have a TV with a sound bar right below it. Um, a lot of trailers don't even have the sound bar. With us, the sound bar is some unknown brand named Furion. I'm gonna call it Furion. It lasted a total of like a week of just listening like two to movies. it quietly. And then whenever we actually listen to some music and watch some movies that really had some sound, well, I mean, you can't turn it up even that, that loud and it still messes up. The speakers are blown. Yeah, that blew our speakers. It's like, so. oh, it was so bad. You will have to probably upgrade speakers on that side. Again, not that much. 50 to $100, you can get a nice little sound bar from even someplace like Walmart or Best Buy. So that is an Xbox One. Uh, I basically had to pull this panel completely out. So made a modification here. I'm gonna do the same thing with this as well here pretty soon. We also have, these are our movies. Up here we've got some cookware, an instant pot, highly recommend. We also have an air fryer, highly recommend. Whether you're RV living or not, these little gadgets, they're perfect for cooking pretty much everything. And this is one of our pantries, as you can see. Just a jumbled mess in there. Vitamins and supplements. Pew, pew. We're just gonna cut that out, don't worry about that. Yeah, so food, chips, oatmeal, all that good stuff. I feel like this is also a cutting board. It is, it is, yeah. It's a nice little cover so we can put stuff in there so it doesn't go flying around whenever we travel. Trash, recycling, cleaning goods and things of that sort. Just got our basic drawers like silverware, utensils, things like that. Stove, which we have used one time. No, it's been uh, two, two or three times, yeah stove and our oven they are propane which i don't like that's um, why we don't use it too much even though i love propane you're the fun. living bejesus out of me we also have well not the dog the dog doesn't sense it but that little green light back there senses carbon monoxide like it's broken it's not it's obviously it's on to us. i've tested so here we've got cups and mugs and plates and which is crazy because when we lived in a house we had like six cabinets full of mugs plates and bowls now we're down to one Yep. But we didn't need any of that stuff. Harry Potter wants because Necessary. you never know when you're gonna get into a duel. You never know. So always have your wand ready. Pantry, space. You're just making us seem weirder and weirder. Yeah. Two little secret storage guys. I've got my shoes in here. Down here we've got business, business like and tax and items. Taxes. The freezer in the fridge. One thing I learned the hard way. You have to hear that click when you close your RV fridge and freezer. That's not closed all the way. You have to hear that click because if not, it doesn't close completely. This thing overheats and the fridge does not cool down and your food goes bad. But also with this is uh, ah, this little top area right here. So your fridge actually runs off of both electric and propane. I want it on auto because say you somehow lose electricity during the night, you don't know about it. Uh, you're you know sleeping with that partition down and your dogs are trying to warn you but nothing happens this will actually switch automatically over to gas as long as you have your gas open uh, right now we have our gas uh, both tanks are open right now uh, so this would be good no matter what as long as you have it on the on position and in auto uh, that's the good thing about the Dometic uh, design it's actually pretty decent Blair doesn't like the uh, propane but she doesn't have to know that sometimes it switches over to that a AC is fairly simple it works yeah it works it's also it's Coleman Mac it's it's a good brand we live in Texas and it is so hot and yeah. this this thing since there's so many little gaps in the RV um, the cold escapes but tons of these little vents on the ceiling that you can turn and position I really like and there are like four that point right at the bed so we never get hot when we sleep so by the bed I actually have a, a little tiny uh, fan in case there is some kind of like turns off and I get hot too quick that on. And, I don't mean it. I, she, I get she can have it on if she way. wants to. Whatever. It's got my name on it. It does have your name on it. Our bathroom. Quite spacious, uh, which I do like. And there's extra storage in here. So we've got our books, dirty clothes, towels, mats, stiff. A little more storage where we keep our toilet paper and tank cleaning stuff. Matt's got another closet. Oh, another one. I have one little section plus this, and that is it. That's a good size closet here. Something with uh, our beers too as well. Uh, you have something standard with it, right? Well, I want actually shelves. So I'm actually gonna put shelves in here pretty soon and then fold all my clothes. And so that's another little secret. You actually fit a lot more with shelves mm -hmm. over just hanging. So if that were to be like this, 
you'd Monster. be able to get obviously so much more. I want like multiple shelves. I'm gonna actually build that myself, or uh, if I can find a place to buy it from, that'd be really convenient, but I doubt it. And then we've got the sink area, little medicine cabinet, which does open up. And Again, my section layers. That's how it goes. Oh, jeez. This little area. More storage. Your water heater's back there. You can actually access it from the outside. Right behind me is all the water, all the septic is underneath us. I mean, everything is right here. This is something that I'm still trying to learn a little bit more about, so I can uh, save we're on the road. I can actually fix it myself, too, as well. We have Hagrid. More Harry. So we have a Harry Potter thing going on today. Hello, it Harry is the 20th Potter. anniversary of it all. So. Hello, Harry Potter. Yeah. Harry Potter's been favorite. We recently put in a full-length mirror in front of the toilet. The greatest thing about also the toilet is you can wash yourself, but then you can also let others watch you behind you. Yes! Because we have, we a, have second door. a second door! Pretty awesome. Ta da! So, the really cool thing about this is you know, we have dogs. Of course, we don't really do this too often, but say they get a little muddy because it rained in Texas, which happens supposedly. Well, actually, lately it's been happening a lot. You can let your dogs in here, all the mud and stuff can be taken care of, um, and then you can let them back yes. into the normal part of the house. Mud room. And then our shower. So right now we have our dog food and an umbrella in here with friggin' skylight in there that I love. So, and then the dog food stays in there for easier storage. So some people will actually do a compost toilet, take this out, take your, you know, gray, well, not your gray, but your blank tanks out too as well. But that's a whole nother thing. So we're sticking with uh, this toilet for now. Um, it's pretty nice. You have your blinds. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's our dog pen out there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so we can keep an eye run. on them when we're in here. Yeah, and yell at them. Hey, hey, stop Thank you guys for watching this tour. To be completely honest, we filmed the tour yesterday and then we sat down and fell asleep. It's happening again. <laughs> so before we fall asleep again at 9.30, we're gonna close out this video. Thank you guys for coming along. Feel free to subscribe. Make sure and hit that thumbs up if y'all did like this tour. If y'all have any questions as far as our RV life goes, Ooh, I have one. Leave them below. Should you upgrade your bed to make it even softer to where you fall asleep early? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you need, upgrade you need to, to the mattress that. is a must. We love our mattress. So that's one thing we didn't cover, but yes, this is an love upgrade. It. We love it. Okay. Yep. Well, thank you guys for watching. Once again, this is Matt. Blair. This is Blair. Yep. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. Yep. Have fun out there. Bye.